Hello everybody and welcome back to Frostpunk. Now things might look a little bit different from where we left off and uh, I apologize for having no episode uh, earlier this week on Tuesday. The reason is, is because um, I lost all the audio on my footage. Um, for some reason I, I recorded and the audio did not come with the recording. So um, we've lost an episode, but I'll, I'll fill you guys in real quickly on everything that went down in the last episode. Um, First of all, we had our scout parties return from those uh, two locations on the world map and they brought a ton of new survivors in. So we actually have 30 unassigned workers still. We've, we built a whole bunch of new housing here. Um, in addition, we built a whole bunch of new steam hubs to um, kind of expand some like livable and workable areas here and hopefully to make the area, the conditions a little more um, tenable in some of these farther out uh, areas for people to work. Um, second of all, we've been struggling to keep on top of food. So food is a big issue right now. Um, so part of what we're going to do to address the food issue is upgrading all these hunter's huts into hunter's hangers, which produce 30 food a day instead of 20 food a day. Um, last episode, we also built this giant temple. Um, it was one of the new policies that we um, that we signed in this law book, the temple, and that's just giving us more opportunities to convert people away from the Londoners. Um, if we look at the world map, um, like I said, we brought our scouts back with um, with people from the exile colony, and then we found some kids here at the children's hideout, um, and we escorted all those um, people back to our city, and now we're sending our scouts back out to the freshwater springs and to Tesla City. Um, our most urgent issue to deal with right now is food. I think we're doing all right on coal, though coal has still been kind of an issue. We have our um, two coal mines operating as normal, or I think we have three coal mines operating as normal, in addition to two coal thumpers that are also operating as normal. Now all of these workplaces are very cold. What's this storage limit reached? Interesting. Ah, we didn't assign people to uh, harvest this coal pile. Okay, that should be working like normal. Um, anyways, so our most urgent issue right now is to upgrade the hunters huts and hunters hangers, but these are expensive for steel, which we don't have a lot of. So once we get food um, sorted out, our next priority is going to be upgrading these steelworks into steam steelworks. This is going to cost 40 wood and 15 steel each, but they're going to hopefully produce a bit more steel than um, we were previously having. Um, Alright, let's jump into it. Um, I'm looking at this and seeing that these are some cold work areas so I, I want to add another steam hub in. I wonder if I move this steam hub back a layer and then increase its range range setting 2 maybe that would be better. We'll, we'll, we can play around with it and find out something that works but for the time being I'm going to turn on speed level 2 I'm going to let things build out We also signed a law for amputees to be cared for in a care house, which we are building right now. This allows us to care for our amputees um, at low cost. Now, oh boy. We need to be researching overdrive couplings I think so yep so we can put this generator in overdrive okay the temple influenced some people to mend their way so finally we're kind of bringing the number of Londoners down it's been a long time coming but we're finally kind of getting on top of the situation we're burning through coal faster than we're um, harvesting the coal 
which is a little bit concerning. I think some of these places... Is this a house? Some of these things we can only... We only need to put during work hours. So for example, these coal mines have uh, extended workday from 6 to 10. So we'll have this operating from 6 to 10. But we don't need this coal mine burning... Uh, oh, sorry, the steam hub burning steam uh, 24 hours long. These two steelworks are also operating from 6 to 10. So we'll go ahead and put this on a 6 to 10 schedule. Um, here we have some bunk houses. So we're going to want this operating 24 hours. Um, here we have some coal thumpers in a coal mine. All of these, all of these I, I want working from 6 to 10. 6 to 10, please. 6 to 10. And this coal mine is working around the clock with the automaton. Um, okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and set this to 6 to 10. This is hopefully going to help us burn through less fuel. At least that's the hope. We really need to upgrade this generator. Alright, our scouts have reached Tesla City, which I think was an American outpost. The city is modern and meticulously built. A tall tower emits a constant barrier of lightning, deflecting the incoming snow, but nobody comes out to greet us. Oh right, they were like looking into like technologically protecting their city. Looks like they're trying to do it with like a force field. Thunder Unleashed. Able minds and bodies will prevail over cold, reads the slogan over the entrance to Tesla City. All central tall tower shrines with the blue glow of electric discharges which form a protective dome over the, the town. But something went wrong here. There are charred bodies lying in the streets and the stench of burned flesh taints the air. Uh oh. They accidentally electrocuted everyone in the city, sounds like. We saw lightning streak from the tower hitting a building and leaving a gash in its roof. Okay, let's risk entering the city. With uh, high risk comes high reward. As soon as the scouts entered the city, we lost contact with them. There's no telling what happened, but we presume that they're dead. Well, that sucks. This, uh, we can build an outpost to send us steam cores. Okay, so back at our city, we're going to need to get a new outpost team set up. New scout team, I should say. And let's send them to this fishing village. A small uh, village on the shores of a frozen sea. A reflection is visible there. Could it be open water? Okay. We'll go ahead and send them over. So we've got 26 steel now, which is still not enough, really, um, to deal with... Okay, we're going to have to turn on the heater in this care house. We're getting our hope really high, which is perfect. The Londoners steal supplies wood theft. Somebody has stolen 122 wood from the stockpiles. We don't really care. We have more wood than we know what to do with. People are saying it was the Londoners gather gathering supplies for the journey. It seems ridiculous the idea of leaving for London is gaining traction. We'll leave them be. We um, opted in the last episode not to build the faith keepers, which are kind of like the faith enforcement. We don't want to force our, um, force our faith onto people. I think that's kind of crossing the line. Okay. So the workday will begin in an hour for most places. Okay. Okay, we need to build some hunter's huts today, and then we need to upgrade our, our steelworks into steam steelworks today. Alright, our scouts have reached the freshwater springs. Okay, several people are kept from freezing by a hot spring deep underground. Patches of hardy lichens cling to bare rock at their edges. It looks like a good place for a hideout. 
degenerated but alive. Near the freshwater springs, we met some refugees from Winterhome. They are a sorry sight and seem to be completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Asked what kept them from starving, they looked away, then mumbled something about eating lichens. Yeah, I think they were eating a little bit more than lichens. Um, we could escort them to the city or we can just send them to the city. Let's escort them to the city, make sure they get there safe. We also need to build an outpost, um, an outpost center. Food. Hunter's hangers. Yeah, each of these costs 40 steel. They're real expensive. So once we, I think we built another hunter's hangers. The next thing we're going to do is build another steam steelworks. Yep. Going to upgrade this one to a steam steelworks. get another 15 steel we'll upgrade the other one because steel is what we're really short on right now is there any other place that we can build the steelworks looks like there's only two available steelworks in this entire map steel has become the biggest problem Severe frostbite, a citizen have to have their limb amputated. Again. Overdrive couplings researched. Okay. Uh, it looks like we can go into overdrive until the temperature raises a little bit. So let's go back into overdrive just for a little bit. And then the temperature is going to go back up to minus 40 in less than 24 hours, which is perfect. Steam Steelworks. Okay, perfect. So we should hopefully be getting steel a lot more quickly now. Or if not a lot more quickly, significantly more quickly. We have two steam cores available. And um, another thing we could be researching. Um, let's research a steam hub upgrade once we have 20 steel. Um, and then um, improved heaters. But another thing we could um, do uh, is build a factory and we can build automatons. Um, I want to see how that works. I feel like automatons are going to be much better to have than uh, people. Alright, steam steelworks are up and running. Fantastic. So now if we go to tech, can we build an outpost depot? We need 45 steel. Okay, we have exactly enough for an outpost depot. Wow, this thing is big. Oh, it has to be built in like one specific spot. Here, either here or here. Okay. We'll go ahead and build it here because it's next to our beacon. We'll go ahead and build some roads over to it. Yep. Just like that. Perfect. Alright, we're done building streets. Tutorial summary. Camera controls? Okay, no, we don't need that. We have something new pop up. The Londoners prey on discontent, the few are persuaded. A member of the Londoners is talking to a crowd. He's trying to scare as many as possible into joining the exodus to London, but his visions of doom ring false in the ears of the people who are content with the situation in the city. We could let him speak. We could ask a cleric to reassure the people. Okay, and we're not gonna disperse the crowd. We're gonna ask a cleric to reassure the people. Londoners is hovering right around 50, which is not ideal, but it's not as bad as it could be. Okay, once we get this outpost team... We only have 9 out of 10 people working here. What happened to our 10 out of 10 people? Zombie, come on. Looks like we have built up a reserve of yet even more steel. So let's go ahead and upgrade another hunter's uh, hunter's hanger. Oh no, we need 40 steel for that. My bad. Oh boy. 
we need to be researching s probably steam hub range upgrades here let's look at the temperature overlay okay every place is comfortable because we turned on the overdrive of course the overdrive is only gonna last us just a little bit longer and then we're gonna have to turn it off we're really burning through coal quickly yeah we can see the overdrive meter getting up there we really need this temperature to rise we have people starving that's the big issue right now another theft captain the Londoners are stealing again they've taken 106 wood from the stockpiles people are angry that the Londoners are putting their crazy ideas before the needs of the city will let them be Wow this is not good maybe we should have built the faith keepers I just I don't want to go too far I know this game can get really dark um, I think the first time I ever played this game um, I went with the other path which is like law law enforcement and it got pretty dark like if you go down the tree and you sign all the laws it gets to the point where you're like you're like repressing your citizens freedom people are angry about the thefts a crowd has gathered demanding that you stop ignoring the recent thefts sir you have to do something when you let these thieves steal our supplies more and more people think that the there maybe the londoners are right and we'll be safer going with them i have three dies three days to sign the public penance law i won't do anything about it now i won't do anything about it now i don't know what the public penance law is but i don't want to go too far into this kind of dystopian thing Righteous denunciation. It is the duty of the faithful to denounce wickedness. It is a true sign of compassion to bring the wicked to light. After... Well, I don't know what that means. Groups of people will occasionally abandon the Londoners. Small amounts of resources may be uncovered as well. Discontent will rise. We'll sign this law. Hear me! Hear me! New law in the city! Aha, they're already starting to come. My neighbor, a friend of the captain, is cheating on his wife. There's no place for privacy when souls are at stake. Okay, the people are already kind of ratting each other out. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted them to do. Hopefully we'll start catching those thieves. We're dealing with this problem in our own way. And... We are up to minus 40. Okay, we're turning off overdrive. So now if I look at the temperature overlay, we should be doing just fine. We have some heaters on that we don't need to have on. So we're gonna make sure we're not wasting any fuel that we don't need to be. Okay, perfect. A new workday starts in the name of God. A new workday starts in the name of God. Do you guys hear that? All right. A tip from a believer, Captain, a woman has revealed that she knows where some Londoners gather will act on the information. Some Londoners will be persuaded to stay. Fantastic. The temple, I want to do anything that doesn't cost food rations. This one costs food rations, so we won't do it. We have our outpost uh, depot, so we're going to need workers available. Hmm, where can I get some free workers from? Currently, we have a bunch of people working this uh, sawmill. I think we're going to go ahead and take off the people from the sawmill. We can add them back, um, but for the time being, I want to get an outpost up and going. So I want to create an outpost, and I want to get an outpost that's going to create a steel. So we got steam cores, we got wood, and we got a coal outpost. I think of those three, the most important is going to be the coal outpost. The next most important will be the steam cores outpost. Wood, we're fine with wood, to be honest. Okay. We're taking the Londoners down to 38. We're doing just fine, everybody. Okay, our scouts have returned to the city. We have some new homes that we need to build, and we need to send them back out. These scouts can go to Frozen Grove, a small grove of several dozen trees. Wow, 
that's not a very promising location. There's probably not going to be much there. Alright, we need more food. We need more food badly. Let's build another hunter's hangar. Maybe we build another two hunter's hangers. I think we're doing fine on coal. We're hovering just around where we need to be. Steam hub range upgrade has been researched. Fantastic. Let's research improved heaters and then we'll go into level three technologies. Uh, we need to go to people. We need to build more bunk houses. We need to build more bunk houses where it is warm particularly. So it looks like we have a little community of people living right here. So I think we will continue to build more bunkhouses on the outskirts here. We'll need to build some more roads to support these bunkhouses. Go. Perfect. Says we only have 10 hours left of coal, now 11 hours. got to reach the fishing village all right hot springs keep tiny patch of sea from freezing here the Americans use this opportunity to set up a fishing village it's deserted now let's explore no place for the weak this fishing village is used to supply Tesla city with food searching it we found a letter Mike don't return to the city Tesla is a madman he casts out all the amputees all the sick Jerry's parents and old birth are among them there will be blood that's for sure and soon the village was left in order we could send a team here to start fishing. We could leave the village intact, or we could dismantle it for some wood. No, we'll leave the village intact. And we'll push on to Ice Corridor. A wide lane of crushed ice extends above the shore as far as the eye can see, obviously left by the American Dreadnought or Research Station. An oddly shaped building bristling with various antennas and instruments. It looks like some kind of research facility. I think the ice corridor sounds more promising in terms of resources. And I think we're going to call the episode here. I'm going to try out something new. I'm going to try out some shorter episodes. Um, hopefully we like that. If um, I think 20 minutes to 30 minutes seems like a good length for an episode. So we're going to see how, how we like this. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.